Ladies and gentlemen, football fans from all around the world, welcome to the most exciting event of the year, the MFFL Prospect Draft. I'm Owen Smith, and joining me in the booth is the one, the only, Matthew Morris. Dude, the draft is where dreams come true and where teams build the foundation for championships. That's a great point, Owen. Every team has its own unique challenges and goals. The draft is where they take the first step for addressing them. We've got a lot of intriguing storylines to watch tonight. Let's hope it all goes well. Absolutely, Matthew. I'm excited to see these superstars chosen to their future teams. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And it looks like the Mobile Giants, for their first round pick, the Mobile Giants have selected Blair Evans coming in at six foot four, the tallest player in the league. I mean, what a surprising pick. I mean, He's definitely got the height on everybody else. And from what I've heard, he's got an absolute cannon of arms. So it seems like what's happening here is the Mobile Giants are taking more of a power route instead of uh, anything else. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to beef up. That's what what it seems like. Captain Conley is unpredictable. I have not seen a coach like him until Uncle Rico. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Absolutely. I believe it. All righty. The pick is in. The first round draft pick for the Brighton Leprechauns is going to be Jacob Fondren. Can you believe this, Matthew? I cannot believe this. He, I mean, well-known football player at Chickasaw. He has experience already. He also has the fastest time coming in at 5.03 in the oh, 40. I mean, seems like it seems like the Crichton Leprechauns are taking more of the speed routes. And it looks like it's in. The Mobile Giants have selected Prince Holland. Let's go. Honestly. I I had to see that one coming in the combine. They had a great dynamic, like I mentioned earlier, great team player. I think uh, Captain Connolly can really mold this guy into whatever he uh, wants and sees in him. Don't you agree? 100%. I agree. He's calm, collective, and cool. Can you hear me? We would love to get your insight on what you're what you're kind of thinking about right now as far as uh, being drafted to the Mobile Giants. I mean, hey, it's an amazing opportunity, you know. Uh, overall, you know, I personally think I was the best player in the draft, and, you know, I just got drafted. So, you know, uh, we're, we're going to dominate. It's not even going to be close. Like, uh, we're going to dominate. Me and my guy Blair got this on lock. It, it's game over for everybody. Yes, yeah, confidence I coming from Prince Holland. Can I, I like get it. can I get a Giants? Hail Mary. All right. Giants, Hail Mary, man. Hey, there we go. Prince is locked in as pick number two for the Mobile Giants. It is official. I appreciate it, Prince. Thank you so much. Honestly, a bit surprised about this one. A second round draft pick from the Leprechauns is Nathan Robinson. Can you believe this? I cannot believe it. I got to say, he he displayed a lot of strength out there. A lot of strength, amazing pass rusher, all around good player. Yep. (laughs) Hello. Hey, Nathan, how are you doing, man? Great, man. How does it feel to be a leprechaun? Feels great. I'm honored. Honored. Awesome, man. I'm glad to hear it. Are you excited? Yeah, excited. Ready to play some football. Awesome. I appreciate it, man. What are we going to do to the Mobile Giants? What are we going to do? Yeah. What am I going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do to them? I'm going to be a defensive threat and do my do my part on offense. He's already claimed he's going to be a menace declaring war on the Mobile Giants I this October 22nd. After moments of waiting, the Mobile Giants have officially launched their next pick, Joseph Davis. Congratulations, Joseph Davis. Joseph Davis is in the South Alabama band. He is also a pro server at Cracker Barrel. Before Mr. Cracker Barrel, there was the Cracker Barrel. What can I say about Joseph? Honestly, Matthew, I really did not see this one coming. I mean, Joseph Davis is a bit of an underdog on the field, I think. But um, during the combine, I can definitely see some relationship between uh, the quarterback of the Mobile Giants and um, Joseph. So, I mean, definitely some dynamic and uh, good relationship going on there. But I really, honestly, did not see this one coming. All righty. For the third round, is it right, Matthew? I believe we're on four now. I think for the fourth round draft pick um, for the Leprechauns, we have an unexpected James Holbrook. Can you believe this? Actually, believe it or not, I can. I'm surprised James wasn't picked sooner. He is the current quarterback at Murphy. That is true. So he does have that experience. Absolutely. He has a long history of um, football. And also being the quarterback, he has to know his uh, game knowledge stuff. Oh, man, it feels great. You know? 
we awesome. worked in the worked in the scrimmage together, and I feel like me and the Leprechauns are just gonna get along. And Dude, man, have some I feel some great things coming along. That's awesome, man. I'm glad to hear it. You have a great day, James. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. And the pick is in for the Mobile Giants. We have Talon Skidmore Lane. What about that? What is your thoughts on that, Mr. Honestly, Smith? I'm really excited about this one for the Mobile Giants. See, what y'all don't know is Talon, he actually owns the field that the uh, this matchoff is going to take place at. So he's already on his own territory. And not even to mention that, Talon's a bit of a bigger guy. So he knows how to take a hit, and he can use that strength to his advantage. He knows how to give one, too, from what I could hear in that bathroom. But he had the slowest 40 time. Hello? Talon Lane, how do you feel, man? Yeah, I feel great, Owen. I'm happy to go. You know, I didn't expect to go this high. I'm I'm really I'm I'm humble right I'm humble right now. I like to say, let's go Giants. Let's get that dub, baby. Let's get that dub. I hear it. I love the excitement. The man. most passion on the team from we can see yet. All righty, guys. We have the next pick in. We have Charlie Radcliffe being recruited to the Leprechauns. Uh, an overall just great player, honestly. Good pick. No doubt. Great pick from the Leprechauns. And uh, Charlie, bro, give me some pizza, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, no. And the pick is in. First pick of round two. The Mobile Giants select Jamarco Richardson. Honestly, didn't see that one coming. Uh, Jamarco is... I honestly thought he would blow everybody away with the 40-yard dash, but he didn't pull through. But from what it sounds like, he's pretty confident. What do you think, Matthew? I think so, too. Jamarco did not Jamar go. <laughs> Jamarco, right. how does it feel to be a Mobile Giant? It feels great. feels great. Good. Glad good, to good. hear it, Jamarco. Do you have anything else to add about your pick? No, I just feel like I could have did, but I just had late spread chain. so. I'm we will sure up on table 22nd. Don't you worry. All righty. It is in. And for the Crichton Leprechauns, we have Michael McClendon. Right there. Mike, how are we feeling, man? You know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I didn't stretch, so I wasn't able to get, you know, that the arm going like I wanted to. You know, I don't play football like that. I'm a baseball guy. I got you. But, you know. Hey, all balls are the same. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a I'm a reliable guy. He's reliable. I can I can add. I'm, I'm can testify to that. Happy man, go leprechauns. Awesome man, I appreciate it. And the pick is in second pick of the second round. The Mobile Giants have selected Gavin Barrel Robinson. I mean Gavin the Cracker Robinson. I mean this guy is an absolute brute on the field. He's got a bodybuilding background. So that'll be really interesting. All right, next up pick for the Crichton Leprechauns, we have Colin Robinson. Great athleticism we have saw in the combine. And the uh, uh, only thing I'm concerned about is he doesn't have a lot of football knowledge. Colin, how are we feeling, man? Pretty good. Are we excited to be a Leprechaun? Go Leprechauns! Hey. Great to hear from you, Colin. And Joseph, is this you? No, that is not me. And the pick is in for the Mobile Giants. They have selected Gavin Brooks Peterson. Wow, what about that? What do you have to say, Owen? Well, Gavin's got a background in wrestling also with LaShawn. Um, this time he actually did wrestle with LaShawn. So it seems like LaShawn's definitely taking the uh, stance on people he knows and people knows that he worked well in a team how are we feeling man uh feeling great you know i'm ready to work ready to show i'm, I'm one of the best in the league you know just ready to get Absolutely. to work great confidence i like it matthew anything to say how does it feel to be a mobile giant i mean honestly i knew Lashawn would cook up something and i'm just ready to i'm just ready to win so you're saying the captain is the way to go Lashawn conley he's the best coach I think he is. I mean, I've I've been around him as a coach, as a wrestling coach. You know, he's been there for me when I lose, and he always makes me go back and win. So, I think we're going to be winning a lot this year. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to meet you. All righty, guys. Next pick is in for the Crichton Leprechauns. We have Aiden Wells. Aiden Wells is a pro carpenter, from what I heard. I'm not sure how that applies to football, but hey, he might have some great hands. Yes, he may. He may know how to work the wood, but he may not know how to work the ball. I don't know how it's going to go. It's official. The Mobile Giants have picked their next player, Anthony Rivers. Wow, what about that? <laughs> Anthony Rivers, um, once again, another guy who LaShawn has a long history with. Um, I'm really starting to see things play out for LaShawn here. What's your opinion, Matthew? He's a hard worker. He's a natural leader. He has pushed through with Sarah Land's wrestling team. For the next pick for the Crane Left Cubs, we have Homeless Joe, also known as James Daughtry. This one I'm super excited for. The kid's got an aim. Um, yes, I am here. James, how does it feel, man? Uh, I mean, feels pretty great. It's pretty unexpected, though, because uh, I missed the combine due to some my church having an event. I wasn't really expecting it, but uh, I'm glad that and grateful to Sean that he picked me for the team, and I'm excited to play. Hey, man, it looks like you're going to pull through, though. Thank you so much, yeah. James. And the pick is in. The Mobile Giants have selected – Josh Putterford Giles. Oh, wow. Oh, I did not expect goodness. that. With the speech impediment, well, I don't know how this is going to play into the communication on the field, but apparently he just had jaw surgery to get it fixed. So uh, I He guess did. He may fumble that. his words, but I know he's not going to fumble this ball. Absolutely, oh, Matthew. Um, we have Will Radcliffe. This Man, unexpected. Fast receiver. What? Can I say? Absolutely. And we got the Radcliffe brothers on the Leprechaun team. This is going to be a great duo. We are feeling good tonight. I'm very happy to be part of the Leprechauns. You know, we're out here repping the Leprechauns already. You know, I just yes, had sir. a good merch already repping it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, yes, sir. I had to. Go Leprechauns. Go Leprechauns. Thank you. I'll have a good one. And the last pick is in. The Mobile Giants has selected Corey. Oh, my Lord. What do you have to say about that? Corey, I honestly can't believe it, man. I mean, the last pick, but uh, pick. Mobile Giants ended off strong. Great pick overall. No doubt. I agree. Go Giants. All righty. For our last pick of the night for the Crichton Leprechauns, we have Mike Smith. I mean, oh, wait, uh, sorry, Brody <laughs> Tyndale. Can we believe it? We have the shortest player on the field. Matthew, anything to say? Yes, yeah, standing at a whopping five foot four. What can I say? Maybe that's the only yards they'll get. We do not know. Great Hello. overall pick. How are you doing, Brody? I'm doing positive. good, you know. All glory to God. You know, I'm Mr. Irrelevant. Got something to prove out there, especially being five four. Good yes, to be on my favorite team, the Crichton Leprechauns. We lost uh, Sean. It's going to be yes, a fun sir. game. You're a bit of an underdog, man. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. No matter what they tell you, if they tell you they've seen shit stacked high, if they tell you you're no good, you just prove them wrong. Can I get a go, Leprechauns? Let's go. Go, Leprechauns, baby. All right, what a hell of a night it's been for the draft pick. Matthew, do you have anything to say about tonight's picks? I cannot. All I can say is that the Mobile Flag Football League has an interesting pick and an interesting roster. Absolutely. I think both teams are fairly balanced as far as uh, who we got. For example, on the Sean's team, we got Prince, very versatile player. And then we also had the Radcliffe brothers on the Leprechauns, which is just going to be a really great duo, really great dynamic. Overall, both great picks for the team. Shall we introduce the coaches? Absolutely. Let's uh, start off with our... How are you doing, Captain Conley? Doing good, doing good. How, How you doing? doing? Doing good. Yes, Just uh, really excited for October 22nd. A lot of big things going to happen. You know, coming into this, I just, I've really been thinking about my old football days. You know, quit football to start wrestling. I had a lot of success in wrestling, but I've always had a passion for football. It's always come so, you know, mentally, the aspect of football has always come so natural to me. Right, no doubt. That's always, uh, it's always a passion of mine to show people football, and I think I can do that um, October 22nd. You know, I take my guys versus his guys. We'll get in between those white lines, and we'll see who's got it. 
For our next coach, we have the Crichton Leprechauns coach, Sean RTR Barnett. Come on, John. Nice to meet you, man. How are we doing? How are you doing, Mr. RTR? Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. So tell me, what was going through your mind when you picked the fastest person with the fastest time in the roster? What, what was going through your mind? Why are we going for speed rather than for size? Well, I think if you're fast enough, then you can beat any coverage. You can beat any man. I also think that Jacob Fogren, while we're running that scrimmage, man, he was he was doing perfect. He played absolutely insane. He had our only two touchdowns, right. and he played great, man. I think he was worthy of that first pick. Gotcha. And I want to ask, what's taking you to the win? What's taking me to the win? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Leprechauns are lucky, and I have that Crichton magic, baby. We'll see who's all seeing the Leprechaun on October 22nd. Yes, we will. Two coaches, shake hands. All right, it's done. We won't meet again until October the 22nd, so stay tuned.